Okay, guys, so here we're kind of looking at the anatomy of a hoverboard. I just kind of wanted to break down for you guys uh, what the various pieces are. Um, I'm not a super techie guy. I'm not a super handy guy. Uh, these things are pretty easily, or I don't mean to say easily assembled. They're, they're pretty simple devices. There's really not that much to them. Um, so I'll show you kind of the various pieces. And if you ever hear people refer to certain pieces, you kind of know what they're talking about. So uh, first thing first, this is the wheel or the tire, obviously. Within the wheel, uh, this is where the motor is. If you were to take this plate off, you'd see really tightly wound uh, copper wire, like kind of like the inside of a fan or something like that. So that's a motor within the wheel there. Um, if you can see in there, you can kind of see the uh, axle, I guess you could call it. And the axle has one flat piece, and that's what rests into the frame of the board, basically. Um, so if you ever have to take the wheel off, you're going to have to disassemble this whole thing. This here is what's called the pressure sensor. This is... Uh, one of the most common problems to go bad on these. Um, on some of these, you can actually see inside of the board and you can kind of see how it functions and things like that. I have a couple spare parts here, so I'm gonna show you something. So if you guys can see this, this is like a, a rubber nipple, right? So when somebody stands on the board, you see how that goes up? When somebody stands on the board, it makes a nipple go up. Within this piece here, there is going to be basically like garage door sensors. There's going to be two, uh, you know, little things like that. And there's an LED light going between these two pieces. So when the rubber nipple goes up, it blocks that light and the board knows whether to go forward or backward. So that's basically what controls the function of that board. Within the wheel, there's like a balance access piece that basically determines the, the degree of tilt. Um, but this is a really important component of the board. It's the pressure sensor. Um, one of the most common aspects to go bad on these is this piece. Um, there's these things really probably cost a dollar or two. Most of the U S hoverboard companies are selling that piece for about a hundred dollars. Uh, so it's quite a markup. And honestly, there's not a whole lot of, I haven't been having trouble finding these pieces. I looked on Alibaba, I looked on AliExpress, uh, and I haven't really been able to get a price on those. Um, there's not a whole lot of pieces out there. I think most of the pieces are going to actually assemble boards. Um, here you have the battery. Um, and this piece just basically holds the battery in place. Um, you can kind of tell a quality board. Some, some people just slam the battery in there and don't really assemble it or screw it in. So personally, some of the things that I look for when I'm looking for a quality board are, you know, just little things like this. Do they spend the extra two pennies on this piece and screw the battery in to keep things from jostling around in there? This looks kind of sloppy here, but I mean, really, there's a reason for this. There, I, I've never seen this on a board before, but basically... They're making sure all the wires are in place and these wires aren't going to get crimped between the case or anything like that. Um, a lot of people claim they have a Samsung battery. This looks to be a generic battery. I mean, there might be a counterfeit Samsung sticker or something under one of these bars. I don't feel like taking it apart. Um, but it just looks like a generic Chinese battery here. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's really the anatomy of a hoverboard. Some boards you'll see will be a lot more simple. Um, I actually, this, this is another way to kind of tell a quality board is... Um, as you can see, this motherboard or whatever that is, is basically recessed or sunk into this plastic piece, which provides some added protection, in my opinion. Uh, some of these boards, you'll just see the, the motherboard sticking right on top here out in the open. And to me, it just seems less protected. Um, so when I'm looking at a board trying to figure out if it's quality or not, I mean, yeah, a lot of it comes to how it rides and everything else. But just little things. Look inside the board. Do they have the motherboard right out here in the open, or is it recessed and protected in one of these sensors? Do they put a... Uh, uh, casing to hold the battery in place, you know, are the wires um, either insulated or well assembled? I mean, as you can see here, these wires are not insulated, but, you know, it does look like they took some care in putting it together. So this looks like a halfway decent board. Um, I was kind of surprised they gave me some extra pieces, uh, these rubber nipples. I mean, I've, honestly, these are kind of pointless because the nipple, nothing's going to happen to this rubber nipple. The problem is actually going to be with the LED within that sensor. But, uh, you know, nonetheless, they did send me some extra pieces. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of do an anatomy of a hoverboard. If any of you guys are having issues and, you know, you go to Reddit's uh, mini segue forum and somebody asks you, oh, is it the pressure sensor? You know, now you know what a pressure sensor is. You know where the battery is. You kind of know where all the pieces are. So um, this wire obviously uh, controls the LEDs. The pressure sensor tells us to turn the light on. Uh, but yeah, I mean, really kind of a simple, uh, pretty simple invention here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of what's inside your hoverboard. And it's only like nine or ten screws to take this off. So, I mean, don't be afraid to, to take the cover off. Um, if you enjoyed this video, 
give me a thumbs up. Uh, share this video on your favorite, you know, subreddit or forum or whatever else. Um, maybe help some other people out who are having issues or want to know what various parts are on the hoverboard. Uh, so yeah, if you liked this video, give a thumbs up, share, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll talk to you guys next time.